Windows isn't known to be the most efficient operating system out there, but we can change and configure things to give you the best results and make your computer as efficient as possible. First things first, let's look at the apps that we open on startup. So navigate to your start menu and just type startup. Then you have startup apps here, and we can open it to begin seeing all of the apps that open on startup. For example, I don't need Edge to open on startup. I don't need OneDrive. I don't need Teams. I do need NordVPN. So you can kind of go through here and decide what is turned on and off. Turning these off is a great way to increase performance. This isn't the only place to see your startup apps though. You can also go to your task manager, which we'll be in later as well. You can come into your task manager here and then go into startup and see other stuff that opens on startup as well. And you can enable or disable these from here. So you've got two options to get to them. Sometimes more stuff is here, sometimes it's not. Speaking of your task manager, it is a good idea to just go through your processes occasionally. Sometimes stuff will get open in here that you don't know is open and you can turn it off. You can also go into your services and stop these as well, but do be careful. If you don't know what something is, I'd probably just leave it because a lot of programs do and need things like, you know, power to be able to run. So go through here, check these out and disable the ones that you don't think you need. But again, do be careful in doing that. Now we're done with task manager and we can move on to your power settings. So go ahead and hit the windows icon again, type in our power settings right like so and we can open up the power sleep and battery settings now once we're in here there's a few things we can do one we can set our sleep if we want to as well as our power mode now when we click on the power mode we can see the difference we want to go to best performance here and this means windows is going to optimize everything to perform better and get the max performance now it is worth noting if you're on a laptop this is going to use more battery but I would recommend turning it on no matter what. You can also from here navigate over to apps and if you do need to get to this, you can just search for apps and features in the start menu as well. Apps and features, there it is. And you'll be able to come in here and see all the apps that are on your computer. You can do things like sort them by size, install date and everything else and uninstall the ones you don't want by clicking and clicking on uninstall. For example, I don't know why they push OneDrive on me so much, but I never want it. You may also have issues like this where you need to do, um, you know, account user confirm. That is perfectly normal and feel free to do that. But by cleaning this out, you will be able to increase the speed on your computer by removing programs. For example, Teams is opening on startup. I never need Teams to open on startup because I never need Teams. So I'm not supposed to uninstall the app. Sure, removing it from our startup apps is important, but, uh, I don't need it at all. From here, we can move on to personalizations. Then we want to go into colors here. Now, unfortunately, I can't do this because I'm on a VM with a non-active Windows license, but you want to make sure transparency effects is turned off. Then move over to accessibility on the left-hand side, go into visual effects, and you want to make sure that transparency effects and animation effects are both disabled here as well. Lastly, we can go into our advanced settings. So simply come down here and type in view advanced system settings, and then open this up. When we do that, we want to come over after we drag it into place and come into our performance settings. Finally, we want to adjust these for best performance, basically turning off all the visual effects that could be lagging the computer. Clicking apply, it's gonna kind of reload and then click okay and okay again to close out of that. Now we've been mostly focusing on visual effects and things like that to clear up and make your computer faster. But one of the things that can actually close out or slow down your computer is the hard drive. So you should probably turn on storage sense. So click the start menu, type in storage sense. And when we do that, we have storage settings here. So open up our storage settings and then right away, we will see storage sense. This will automatically delete things on your computer and make it fill up a lot slower honestly keep it from filling up at all if things go right. So let's go ahead and click to turn this on. We can then go into our storage sense here and keep things automatically running. So as you can see, keep windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system files. We wanna keep that on. We also wanna turn off the automatic user content cleanup by turning on storage sense to run every month, right like so. We also wanna make sure we clear out our files, right like that. We also want to make sure we clear out our recycling bin on whatever schedule, 30 days is fine, as well as our downloads folder. Do be careful though, some people like to keep things in their downloads folder. I don't, but if you do, you might actually want to keep this disabled, but I would recommend just keeping important things out of your downloads folder in general. Nevertheless though, now things are running automatically, and as storage sense does clean things up, you'll be able to see how much it's cleaned up right here. Now if you are a gamer, there is something that you probably want to do, and that is turn off what's called VBS. So. Open up Start Menu, of course, type in Core 
isolation. It's going to open this and here we want to make sure that this is turned off. Memory integrity. We want to make sure this is turned off here. Now the reason is because this is seeing 5 to 10% increase in performance in games depending on the game and circumstances. This sounds like it's a very, very, very bad thing, but overall it's it's not. It, this is okay. It's okay to turn this off because you have Windows Defender, Virus Threat Protection, still turned on, right? If you don't have this stuff turned on, it's probably not as a uh, good of idea to turn that off. But if you do, and you most likely do, you're going to go ahead and turn this off and with that get the FPS benefit that it does provide. Now, whether you're a gamer or not, you probably want to turn off the Xbox Game Bar. Now, how do you do this? Well, of course, we can go to Settings, and then in Settings, we actually have a dedicated gaming tab here. When we click on that, we can see at the top we have Xbox Game Bar, which can be opened and turned off. Any sort of Game Bar style thing is going to be a bit laggy and going to use some resources on your PC, it probably shouldn't. I never use Xbox Game Bar. Never used it before in my life, and I game on my computer all the time, so turning it off is probably a good idea. And with that, you now know how to increase the performance of your computer. And you should probably check out the video that's on your screen right now. YouTube seems to think you'll like it. Let's go see if they're right. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And if you have someone who should speed up their computer, feel free to send this video to them. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.